we got a really beautiful gray fox here. Uh, that's one of the things out here. Oh, stop it. Quit yelling. We're going to let you go. That's one of the things out here. We're only looking to take, uh, you know, certain predators off. The farms that were here and the landowner really doesn't want the fox killed because there's really not a lot of fox around here. We're here going after raccoons, uh, possums, more of your nest raiders, plus the coyotes that uh, really harass their deer and the cattle over here a lot of times. So we're letting our fox go and this is a beautiful gray fox. Uh, they don't have many of them out here, a lot less than we have back in Pennsylvania. So we're gonna let this guy go. And he's really in that 550 Duke right there, a real nice pad catch. There's no damage to that foot. He's gonna be fine. He might be a little sore later on today, but that's gonna dissipate quickly. There's no blood, there's no cuts. And uh, that's just a testament to the Duke 550. Uh, really, you know, a good trap, a good device that's very humane and uh, it allows you to let these non-targets go like the bobcats, the foxes, animals that you don't want to keep, uh, it lets them go. And if, uh, if you're in the market for them, they're a really good trap, but we're going to let this guy go. He's going to scream and yell. He's not hurt. He's just a uh, very aggressive gray fox, which gray fox tend to be a lot more aggressive than red fox. And they're actually about half the size a lot of times. They're just a really, really cool animal and it's actually one of my favorite predators in nature but uh, we'll let him go and uh, i'm going to bring him over here and hopefully the camera will uh, catch him running away now i know you're not happy i know and we're just going to move him over here and let him go and hopefully he won't attack me go ahead there he goes running right out through the field that's actually a really cool sight Watching him run across there, uh, he's going to live another day and have an opportunity to go breed and we're going to remake this set here. It's, it's an absolute mud pit. We've been dealing with a lot of water out here and as you can see it's uh, definitely a mud pit but uh, we'll figure out a remake here but that gray fox, uh, it's really actually awesome to see him run across the field like that. And, uh, hopefully next time we come back we'll have a coyote here and something that we can actually uh, help the help the farmer out with. Oh, what's up little buddy? Boy, we got a really nice gray fox here. That is uh, just a beautiful gray. Uh, we're right here, just on this, it's a real nice bowl here. There's food plot over here, there's a food plot here. Nice little stream running down through here. And this just, I got another set on the other side over there, but this just looked like a really good travel way to me. We did see some coyote sign. You know, we're catching a few fox here in Southern Illinois. We're out here doing, you know, depredation work here at Rocky Branch. And we're trying to catch, you know, pretty much all the nest raiders and take the coyotes out that are harassing the deer. And we've caught three or four fox that uh, really surprises us. Um, we're actually catching some fox. We're going to let this one go as well. Uh, we're not going to uh, take this fox. Um, it's just a beautiful gray fox. The gray fox is actually one of my favorite animals to, uh, to catch. But uh, we're going to let this one run. But it's just a beautiful, uh, nice bottom here where this little ridge uh, gets funneled in here with another ridge on the other side, maybe two, three hundred yards. And all that predator traffic just working this bottom and a really pretty gray. And uh, it's in that Duke 550. It's a nice pad catch. Uh, there's really no damage to that foot. That fox is going to be fine. And we're going to let her go and, and uh, run around, but uh, we're out here just trying to take the raccoons, the possums, the skunks, and the coyotes, and uh, we've caught a couple bobcats that we're not allowed to keep, but uh, we're not going to keep these fox because uh, there's really not a high population around here, and, and we want to make sure that uh, they have a chance to uh, come back as well. Well, we let that gray fox go, and now we're going to redo our... Uh, said here there's not much to the remake 
We've already have the bed out of there. We're gonna redig our dirt hole here. Get that down in there as far as we can. So that'll be good. The ground's really wet here. We've been dealing with rain. We had about three inches of rain. And it's drying up a little, but we got more rain coming in tonight. So I went out. I'm not a huge fan of peat moss. I don't feel that you can bed your trap as good as you can, but I forgot my wax dirt back in Pennsylvania. So we're going to the next best thing so our traps don't freeze down because it is getting down to about 25 degrees at night. Always do your best, as I've said many times. Pack that uh, trap in. You don't want any uh, wobble. You don't want any wiggle because if a coyote or a fox or anything steps on there and there's any wiggle they're going to dig you out as you can see i like to make a lot of my sets to where it's below the level of the ground that's an indention going down into the hole i love the momentum of that animal to come basically they have to commit to what's in that hole before they can get to it they cannot get down in there because i got that hole deep it's uh a good set and hopefully we'll come back in here and have another one uh, tomorrow hopefully it's a coyote not a fox we'll even take a coon to help them out with their uh, with their predation efforts here um, mountain man bait going down in the hole again that's all I've been using this year we've had success in five or six different states all the way from the Adirondacks in New York to uh, the mountains of Montana and the mountain man's working good for us. Just take a little bit of duff, cover that up. And almost looks like there's an animal living down in there. Or he's buried his cache and uh, the next critter that comes through will hopefully get enticed down in there as well. And that's one of the things you can do with your hands, just do this. And that blends that whole set now into the surrounding area. North American Trapper Predation Packages. Get any one of our specific trapping packages that has been ultimately designed to help you become the master predation controller of your farm, ranch, or hunting lease. Control the predators that are costing you time and money and get out there trapping today with one of our North American Trapper Predation Boxes. All of the packages come with the trapping essentials to get you out in the field, plus an instructional DVD that will show you the way. Visit us at NorthAmericanTrapper.com and start breaking dirt today. Thank <laughs> you.